Hello everyone, this is the Fuzzy Slug again with another tutorial. Uh, this tutorial has been requested a couple of times. Uh, basically it's for people that want an intro to play when their uh, Windows uh, starts up or they log into their computer. Uh, I looked into it a little bit and it seems pretty cool. Uh, if you guys know Aperture Science uh, from the game Portal 2, uh, someone specifically requested on how to ha have that when they log into their computer. So I figured I'd make a little tutorial out of it. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So uh, just open up your web browser, and if you don't already have VLC downloaded, then that's the first thing we're going to do. So we download VLC Media Player because this is what's going to play our video. Uh, this is going to be a pretty short tutorial, and to try and get this through as uh, quick as possible for you guys, so we're not wasting any time. Uh, so download your version. Um, this tutorial is mainly for Windows, uh, so you can download either the normal 32-bit or 64-bit. I'd say 64-bit uh, is the normal operating system nowadays. Uh, not a lot of people have 32-bit processors anymore. But if you do, that's uh, that's what you want to click. Uh, so it should automatically start downloading. Uh, I wouldn't download this. This is uh, another uh, advertisement. Yep, there it is, already downloading. Uh, just trying this tutorial out before I start the video, so I do already have it downloaded. but. Um, just want to make sure it's up to date. If you don't have yours up to date, uh, version 3.0.8, if you don't already have it. Uh, I am doing this through a virtual machine. A lot of people commented on my last YouTube video, or the last few, on uh, the fact that it might be a virus or something because I'm doing this inside a virtual machine. Nope. Uh, I did this inside a virtual machine because my desktop is cluttered and contains a lot of my personal files, which I don't think are good for the entire internet to see. Ah, there we go. That's going to happen too. Uh, just some little audio bugs here and there because I've had this virtual machine for a while. This is actually the same virtual machine that I did my, um, what was it, the Discord theme video on. So it's been here for a while. I might need a fresh install. But hey, uh, if you guys remember my um, placebo theme for Windows 7 video, uh, stay tuned. Um, in the future, I will have a video coming out for the Windows 10 version of that. So that's on its way. There we go. Uh, we don't necessarily need to run it. And for some reason, Windows is freezing here. I think it's just loading everything up. I really don't know what's going on here. You guys won't have the issues I'm having because virtual machines get very buggy, especially when I'm only running on 4 gigs of RAM and 2 cores. So I will be right back, and I'm going to fix this issue. Okay, I'm back. It was as simple as just pushing the Windows key. Uh, I don't know why that happened, but uh, we can uncheck that. We don't want to run VLC Media Player. We, I mean, you can, can if you want. We don't have to, though. Click Finish. Then we can uh, actually pull up whatever video you want uh, and download that YouTube video or wherever you have it from. MP4 file should be good. Anything really works. AVI file, doesn't matter. Um, but just for the um, tutorial, I'll be looking up the actual aperture science uh, intro. Sure, I think that's what it is. Or theme. Yep, that's good. So we're going to go YouTube to MP4. Convert that. Ignore all the advertisements. So once it decides to work, it'll start saying your video is being processed. It goes to 100%. And then you have some advertisements. There we go. Now the download buttons work. Ignore that. Ignore all these stupid advertisements. Might need to click that download button just a few times so it actually works. There we go. And now we have our Aperture Science theme.mp4, and it should work perfectly fine. <laughs> Perfect. So now we're going to do a few things so this starts up every single time we uh, log into Windows. So what we're going to do first is we're going to rename this something, uh, to something w that's only like one word long because we don't want to have to type out a bunch of weird characters and spaces and stuff like that. So I'm just going to put aperture and we're going to put that in a documents file because that's, that's easy enough to remember. 
and we also don't want to keep it on the desktop just in case you like to organize your stuff. Um, your Windows, when it lo logs in every time, will point to this file. So if you delete it off your desktop, it won't work anymore. So just keeping it in the Documents folder or somewhere you'll remember is a good idea. So we're now going to go into the Task Scheduler. And it might take a few seconds for it to load up. That was pretty quick. I'm impressed. Uh, let's see. We're going to go to Action. And it might not pop up the first time, but you might just need to click on this folder and wait a few seconds. Go to Action. We're going to create a basic task. This also might take a little bit. Name. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it Log On. No description needed. Uh, we're going to set the task to start when I log on. Next. We're going to start a program. Yes. So the program, you're going to want to point to VLC Media Player. Uh, so I'm pretty sure, yes, it will be in this PC. It will be on your C drive. It will be in Program Files, not Times 86, since we selected the 64-bit version. Now, if we select the 32-bit version, I'm pretty sure it would be in Program Files Times 86, since that's usually where all the 32-bit programs go. But since we installed the 64-bit version, it will be in Program Files. It's going to be under Video LAN VLC. And we're looking for the .exe file, which is right here. So we're going to click Open. And it will put that automatically in quotes. And we're going to need arguments because we're going to be pointing to a specific um, video. And then we're going to need specific arguments so that it pops up like in full screen automatically and all that jazz. So we're going to first point to where we put the video. So it's in our Documents folder. It's right here. It will also say right here. So C colon backslash users backslash fuzzy backslash documents. So it's not going to be the same for you because you have a different user name than I do. So if you C colon backslash, uh, what was that again? Users. Might want to just drag that to the side there. Fuzzy backslash documents. Another backslash. And then we're going to put aperture.mp4. Okay. Now, this is where we're going to add the rest of our um, arguments. So let me just get them real quick here. I did put them on my other monitor just so I have them. So what we're going to do first, and you will see this bar up here. That's just so I can get in and out of the virtual machine pretty easily. So every time you put a space it creates a new argument so you don't need a comma or anything like that so space dash f will put it automatically in full screen and then a space dash dash no dash video dash title dash show and that will basically when you uh, launch up a video on VLC media player it'll always show like the title like if I were to launch this in VLC right now, it'd say like aperture.mp4 at the bottom, and we don't want that. So that removes that. Next, we're going to do dash dash video dash on dash top. And that will make sure the video is always on top so you don't have like Discord loading up in the background and it like overlays it or anything like that. So it'll always put the video on top of everything on your computer. Uh, and then after that, space. And this uh, next argument will make sure that VLC automatically shuts down after it plays the video. So VLC colon uh, double backslashes um, quit. Actually, it's not backslashes; it's just normal slashes. And once you're done with that, you should be able to click next. Make sure everything's finished. And now, when we log off, log in, it should play it properly. And just oh, see, I had this created earlier. <laughs> I don't think I ever deleted that properly. Okay, log on was the one we just created. So now if we run it, I forgot. When you lo load up a VLC for the first time, it will pop up with that little page uh, for privacy and network access policy. You don't have to check these. I don't know about uh, network access, but I do know you don't have to check the regularly check for VLC updates box. Then you can close out of it, and now it should work properly. See, that looked great. Might be a few settings we can mess around with. Uh, let me look here. Yep, there's another one we can add as well. Um, 
that I like to add. Just it's miscellaneous. You don't need it, but I like to add it. So you can uh, let's see, add this if you want it right after the full screen. That's at least what I did. Two dashes, mouse dash hide dash timeout equals one. So basically, what this does is after one millisecond, if your mouse is anywhere on the screen, it will automatically make it vanish along with the bottom bar where you can pause the video and all that. So um, if you really need to move your mouse around, you can. You just need to move it at least once every millisecond, or else it's just going to vanish again. But the point of it is so it's not the mouse isn't in the way when the logo is um, starting up. See, so now that will happen every time you log in, log out. Or just log in, sorry, not log out. So if we were to sign out. And then sign in. And there you go. Works perfectly. You got a fully functioning mouse afterwards, and everything works. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. You can use this with any video, of course. It doesn't have to be after laboratories. That was just an example. Uh, well, like the video if you like it, uh, subscribe, uh, stay tuned for my uh, placebo for Windows 10 tutorial coming out pretty soon. I uh, hope you guys liked the video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.